Hey guys, so as you can see, I have my GTube, or not GTube, in GTube back in. Um, it was much, much easier this time um, getting it in. Uh, the nurse that came out, I suggested we take out the guide wire and uh, it worked out a lot better. Um, I know, you can see some blood on my dressing right there. That's just from um, the irritation um, of it being taken out this morning and then put back in. But I'm not, um, I'm not feeling the pain from it that I was yesterday. Um, but not really pain, just it was uncomfortable. But now, um, it's much more comfortable now. And I have uh, up my feeding to 40 milliliters per hour. So that is uh, an ounce and a third. But I have had to uh, dilute my feeds because of the uh, small bore um, in G tube, it's only like I don't even know what it is around, but it uh, had gotten clogged because the uh, formula was too thick, and uh, at the bottom there was a kink in it, which means it had been placed too far this time. Uh, no kinks, no clogs so far. I am flushing it every two to three hours um, with 40 to 50 milliliters of water, which will get me um, the extra 500 uh, milliliters of water my doctor wants me to have per day uh, that I don't have to drink. It just goes down the tube. So, that's where we are right now. Uh, we're laying down. I took some pain medicine a little bit ago, so we're going to lay down and try to take a nap um, until Ander wakes up. Um, my mother-in-law is here. She is cleaning my house, which is amazing, um, while Dane's working, and she's helping me take care of the boys. So, just, that's where we are right now. Everything's okay. And maybe I can get out of the house today. If not today, then maybe tomorrow. Um, but probably not tomorrow because general conference is tomorrow. But we'll see sometime soon. So, I guess we'll see you guys later.